Hi there, folks. I'm Zerfall. And I'm All Dragon. And we are back playing some more Stellaris. Yep. Uh, I've got uh, quite a bit more space down here. Ready to gobble up the Benthel Mandate once the uh, Galactic Yapathi Combine is fully integrated into me. And I... I'm trying to figure out why my Windows bar is showing. There we go, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you broke it. I did break it. I don't know if I have... Let's go to Empire. My fleets are... Oh, well, actually, my fleet is only uh, going to be missing an action for uh, the rest of the month, so... Hmm. I'll go ahead and unpause it, let them come on home. And I can move them up. The Ichnerval Allied Stars declared war on the Ganogian Nation. <laughs> it's because it's because they feel like they could take them on now. Now that they've got yeah, and I don't think they can. And I gotta pause it again. Now let me uh, let me yeah, there we go. All right, because I just integrated the uh, Ganogian uh, the Yapathi. Mm. All right. I missed I missed my chance. I had a trade deal with them. <laughs> if I could get if I could get them to not be hostile towards me, I was gonna try to snatch them out as a protectorate before. Wait, how would that even work? No, you wouldn't have been able. It wouldn't to. worked. Which Apothe did you try? To, did you get the, the little uh, guys? The the purple ones. Oh, the purple ones. Ah, the ones that I'm thinking about are still there. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, I'm not doing anything. They they have a minus nine hundred forty five acceptance towards me. So um. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I took a little bit of uh, space from you. Yeah, you might have. Just, just a tad. A little, little bit. Well, I don't know, because the two closest systems to that zone are still my systems. Well, what about uh, Lifrin? Not that you could colonize that world anyway. I don't even know where that is. Uh, Hosen. Lower right from Hosen. Oh. Eh. Meh. I didn't even know I had that space. Alright, well, I have a new tomb world that I could theoretically colonize, but I'm gonna, you know, like, not really. I need to put them into a sector, and actually, I think I'll just put it into the Apothe sector. Well, let me take a quick look at what they've got. Um, got some people moving away, unemployment. That'll be taken care of. Oh, they have Royal Gardens of. Who does? No, the, the Apothe, they have Royal Gardens of. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> you you came in with your democracy and stricken the name of all leaders yeah, and things? Yeah, I, I, I eliminated it from, from the world. Oh, they have a, they have a world with uh, nothing but droids on it. It is a desert world. Well, maybe I'll get some uh, desert people. All right, well, i got to put this into a sector. Uh, Yapathi sector. Boom. 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 Done. Oh, so many of these freedom fronts and stuff have negative attraction. Why do I have a... Uh, oops. That nah, doesn't matter. I... Oh, was this... Huh. I guess they had a, a frontier outpost, which I should probably... Well, do I want to get rid of it? Yeah, I'll keep it for now. It's fine. Uh, next up, though. Time to uh, integrate the Benthel Mandate for 420 influence. Alright, we can go. Now that I have... Uh, brought these guys into the fold. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm.
I hope I get some people moving to that uh, desert world. They had a, they had a small uh, fleet. Construction it is complete. returning in quite a while, though. Oh, good. Roach Motel has finished its uh, construction. I can build more battleships. Yes, I've already got a whole bunch queued up on Zul now. To, I had to go. I had a giant queue, and because of how many minerals were tied up in future battleships, I had to actually um, delete them and re rebuild them like five at a time, so that I wouldn't just accidentally unqueue minerals off into the ether. Oh, see, I just unqueued minerals off into the ether. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't care, whatever. I mean, I I, I put half of them in there just because I had uh, um, capped out anyway a while back, so I was like, eh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got my fleets moving up there. These fleets, I think, are just warp fleets. Construction complete. And I've capped out on uh, energy now. Hmm. I could probably I grab a construction ship. Well, first of all. Observation posts. Wait, what? The Zuofan Union declared war on the Uri provinces. How is there a... Oh, no, it's a terraforming station. My bad. I already built a terraforming station here. Well, in that case, terraform it into a tropical world. Take care of some of those uh, things right now. Okay, so I have a bunch of warp ships. Let's just let's just upgrade them. I don't really care about them. Ships upgraded. And I can get rid of you. Ships upgraded. Get rid of you. Alright. I should probably rebuild some stuff. Oh, hey. The Ganogians still have a terraforming station in one of the spaces that I took. And it's currently terraforming into an arid world. Hmm. Interesting. I was not expecting that to stick around. But that's good. we got an unsurveyed tropical world down here. That is handy. I have an arctic world here. Let's go ahead and... Get you over here. Unemployment, huh? Well, for now, let's swap you. And you can have... Do, 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 do. I guess energy. Why not? Oh man, I have a whole bunch of worlds where I just... I kind of gave up on them. I was like, eh, this world's gotten good enough for now, but then that's resulting in... Planets that are soon enough going to be yelling at me about unemployment all the time. Yeah, that's, uh... That's fair. Construction. I, I try to do that in between episodes, for the most part. But yeah, with as many... Yeah, well, I mean, if you, if you got worlds and it's just becoming a headache, just dump them into a sector. Mm, well, I mean, I, I need something to do in between these wars. <laughs> Minor mandate fulfilled. 
I gained a 99 hole influence. Hey, I, I, I'm I over 100 again. Good. It's about time, because I was running a little low. <laughs> oh, I need to switch these guys around. I think it's a divergence of 1.1. <gasps> There we go. I had two guys that were... They had the bonuses required for the current researches I was researching, but they were doing the opposite ones. That's terrible. Yeah, very poorly. Poorly planned. I have capped out on... Energy again. What can I terraform? That one doesn't need to be terraformed anymore. Oh, Why is this game moving away? Upgraded. Spiritualist. My fleets are still uh, on the way. Oh, did I just... <sighs> I terraformed a Stone Age primitive world. Ships upgraded. What's that going to do to all those guys? Uh, it doesn't do anything, but it was worthless. Because I can't <laughs> use it. Because I can't colonize it. Well, you made their world just a little bit less habitable for them, so now they're going to be There's sad. so many Stone Age primitive worlds around here. All right, when that is done, go to the Tomb World. up here. That's unsurveyed, so I can't build a terraforming station around that one. Yeah, they, they really colonized a lot of worlds around here, so uh, there's not much that I can... Easily do. I've got a, a few construction ships still floating around doing stuff because it took quite a while to survey all the extra stuff from this uh, fallen empire. <laughs> Research complete. Especially since I sent my science ships all the way across the galaxy to survey your fallen empire first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can control another system. Hey, I can I can get Engos Refinery. Wow, that that's late. Gee, thanks. I mean, I guess it's okay. Where the hell are my fleet? Oh, my fleets are only about uh, two thirds of the way there now. <laughs> <laughs> so slow. There's there's no uh, power equivalent of like a mineral silo, is there? Uh, yeah, power hub. Oh, mineral uh, silo. No, no, no. Man, it'd be so useful. Build all this up so when you go to war, you're not stuck with just five thousand energy in reserve. Well, it's, it's one of the reasons why they a doubled it in the uh, uh, patch after this, and b didn't have it. Mm. It's too useful. Because yeah, I mean that that would be a, a good thing to build. I mean, I'm going to build a capacitor planet. Just every building in it's just a giant capacitor. Store up some some power. Just don't touch the uh, electrodes near the bottom. 
It'd be fine. What's the worst that would happen? A little bit of electrocution. Ooh, capped out on uh, minerals. Research complete. Well, do you know what? Do you remember the big power outage that happened like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago? Jeez, it must have been. The East Coast one? Uh, yeah. The Cascading one? Well, uh, East Coast. It, it was in Ontario as well, and we're hardly near the East Coast. Wow. <laughs> Um, but what ended up happening? Like it's in certain history books now. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty uh, pretty major. I I saw on Reddit someone was like, "Today I learned about this giant power edge that happened." Like you you had to have been alive when it happened if you're learning about it. And it wasn't. It's not like it was like 20 years ago. Well, they might not like remember it. I guess. Um, yeah, if any if anybody in the future ever asks me about that, I'd be like, what was it like living through that power outage? Well, I took my dog for a walk, and when I got home, the power was back on. <laughs> my parents' house at the time was on the same power grid as uh, the local hydro uh, offices and everything, so they clearly needed their power back on to try to orchestrate the putting power back on. Makes sense. And, and a hospital was also on that power grid, so I'm pretty sure it was... Yeah. <laughs> Pretty high uh, priority. All right, my fleets are just about ready. Cool. I'm sitting over here on the border. And I'm capped out on energy again. All right, so... Uh... Yeah, let me actually just move my fleets over there a little bit. Alright, so, declare war against the Zuafon Union time. Yes. And I think for them we were just planning on uh, making some yeah, liber liberation. Liberation. Okay. Uh, do, do we want to make a whole bunch of little ones or one big one? Well... It, it's going to be a little bit interesting either way, because uh, if we make one big one, they're going to hate the big one. Uh, well, For being different from them? Then? Yeah, the, the one big one might be able to defend itself against them, um, mm -hmm. whereas a whole bunch of little ones probably wouldn't, but the little ones might also uh, make alliances around them and stuff like that. Oh, do you know what you might be able to do? If you do... If you do one uh, to me and one to the Hisma before the Hisma managed to get uh, brought on board uh, as a non-vassal. Before you integrate them, yeah. Yeah, before I integrate them. We, if those two should be close enough to me that we might be able to form an, form an alliance really, really fast before they find out they hate you. Probably not, but uh, I suppose it's possible. Because they should both be kingdoms, then. Do you want me to actually try to coordinate this, or do you want me to just toss random stuff in? Uh, I think you just... Well... I, do you know what? I know how crappy their space is for trying to find all the planets, so I would say just random stuff, because I don't want it to take you, like, 45 minutes to be able to... Because there's a lot of low-score systems in there and stuff. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm going to just, uh, like, um, I'm doing the, it's, the it's called the mandate Drake I'm not going to do because they're xenophobes. Um, but I'm going to do some to me, some to you, and some to the Hisma. Okay. Um, it is called the Drake Maneuver, what you're doing, though, starting at the bottom and uh, eventually ending up on top. The who, the what now? The Drake Maneuver. You know Drake. Can, the Canadian uh, rapper used to be on Degrassi. Oh. oh, of course. I know all about Canadian rappers. Wait, wait, wait. No, Drake is a worldwide phenomenon. He's something like a phenomenon anyway. And is uh, one of yeah, his songs. This is like he started on the talking to. I guess that's true. It's I, funny I don't, because... I don't even know Sandstorm. <laughs> it's funny because he started on the bottom in one of his songs. 
But then when he was like in his teens, he was on Degrassi Junior High. So, I mean, he had an acting career before he even was done school. That's not really, <laughs> it's not really starting at the bottom, I guess. He lived in middle class Toronto, aka well, the bottom. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. Holy cow, there's a lot more. You know what? I think I might actually go for, like, start with the cheapest stuff. Because there are a bunch yeah, yeah. of, like, threes. Oh, um, yeah. And it is all. about time to end the episode anyway, so I think we'll do this in between episodes. And we'll get this all uh, um, distributed, and then go to war in the next one. Yeah. See you then, everyone. Bye. <laughs>